Hello! Uh, here we are again. Uh, what I've called Random Matt. Uh, which I've done one episode before, many moons ago now. Uh, me, Wikipedia, and the random article button. And we try and uh, have a little look at the article, and we'll try and shoehorn some Schwarzenegger trivia in and other stuff along the way. Let's get into it and see if we can force some Schwarzenegger connections with whatever article we get. Uh, just as a point for today, the uh, featured article is the Hoopo Starling, Fregelupus Varius. Mm -hmm. Make of that as you will. Um, and we've also got um, the news about Barbados becoming a republic, lots of people becoming presidents, um, um, and some military coups. Yeah. Random article is... Debulking. Debulking. Now, my usual way of doing this in the one episode that I did was just to look at that opening, opening paragraph on Wikipedia, not to get bogged down in the whole article, just using that opening paragraph. However, the, art, the article on debulking is so, um, so short that it is literally... Just that opening paragraph. I'm seeing words about cancer here, tumours. This is not a happy article. Um, so debulking is the reduction of as much of the bulk volume of a tumour without the intention of a complete eradication. It is usually achieved by surgical removal. Ooh. That's that's a shoe on piece of short to make a trivia there. When performed for curative intent, it is a different procedure, which is called surgical debulking of tumours. The grammar here is awful. When performed for curative intent, it is a different procedure. I don't know what curative means, but I assume it means when you cure something, curative. Able to cure disease, yes, okay. When performed with the intent of curing the condition, it is a different procedure, which is called surgical debulking of tumours, is known as... The grammar here. The grammar. Okay. However, okay, the shoehorn piece of trivia is... Uh, 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 surgical debulking of tumours is known as cytoreduction or... Cytoreductive surgery, otherwise known as CRS. I feel that I will be clinging on to anything I can in this. CRS, of course, to me, a certain generation of uh, Terminator fans, is uh, stands for Cyber Research Systems, the company um, from T3 and Salvation, which took over... Um, the assets from Cyberdyne when they were destroyed in T2 and created their own separate research company that allowed them to continue the project, basically, and develop Cyber, uh, Skynet in that timeline. It's also, um, when I was really trying to shoehorn... I like that word. I don't even own a shoehorn. Uh, when I was trying to um, kind of create links anywhere I could, in the pilot episode of SEC... There was a van that drives by in the background during Sarah's dream sequence of the school massacre. It's not even a massacre. The Terminator shoots John and a couple of policemen. Um, but a truck drives past that says CRST on it, I think. And I used to go, ooh, cyber research system Terminators. Ha ha ha. I doubt that's what it was. I honestly think it was just a van that happened to drive past. But whoo. It's a lot easier to be flippant when you are making uh, videos about a tribute album to a band from Norway because you're not even you're not even you're not even criticizing the band the album itself like the the band itself you're just talking about other bands doing covers of songs from that album of of, of that band. Uh, this is different. This is this is talking about actual surgical procedures that people have to go through. Oh. 
So this is all, I'm all look, I'm looking at this obviously on a very surface level. Um, there's, you know, no offence intended to people. Um, so putting that aside, the other thing obviously that, that springs to mind with the word surgery is of course the garage scene from Terminator 2, which I've been thinking about recently, where the T-1000 edition, that extended uh, edition of T2, features the garage scene, where they try to manually um, flip the switch of the 800 of Uncle Bob to make him go from read-only to write mode, and enabling him to learn. Something that is uh, deleted and um, and sort of redone in the theatrical edition by just saying the more he has, the more contact he has with humans, the more he learns, and something that actually they take that and run with it in Dark Fate. So the idea of flipping the switch is in kind of um, an isolated little wave of its own. It just bobs along, going hello. That is, of course, if you believe Dark Fate is a true sequel to T Two, which I've explained before. Uh, there's a way around it, and I don't. Fine. Okay, so, but of course there is a surgery scene to get to that. We have the whole thing, incredible sequence, might I add, with the fake mirror, and Leslie Hamilton Garrett, who has since passed, actually, fairly recently, um, Linda Hamilton's twin on the other side, um, and you had Arnold and a mannequin and Ed Furlong and um, a double of Ed Furlong, and this whole really elaborate practical sequence where they drilled into Uncle Bob's head, removed the CPU, and it was also this turning point for John where he started to take the reins in terms of becoming this future leader. It's an incredible scene. So we do get surgery, and not only that, of course, you've got the original Terminator scene in the motel where the Terminator has to self-repair his wounds by... Um, freeing any damage and, and repairing damage onto his arm, and of course, famously, the eye scene, which I talked about on the uh, my Terminator. Was it? Yes, it was my Terminator um, Part One. Check it out. Um, but yes, not keen on eyes. It rips the uh, rips his eye out. <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely surgical elements. I mean, T three, which I'm going to be watching very soon. Um, he cuts out his damaged. Um, Fuel cell. So there's a, there's a lot of that sort of thing. So we definitely get some sort of surgery. Even SCC, I s again only seen most of these episodes once because I'm terrible. Uh, there's a surgery scene for Derek Reese, I believe. Yes, because then John's like, "Who is this?" And uh, Sarah says, "He's your uncle." <gasps> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so a lot of this is is really not particularly sort of easy reading talking about the process of debulking curative intent um use curative intent in only some types of, of uh, cancer da, 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 da. Yeah, i mean this this isn't particularly nice debulking procedures are usually long and often complicated taking several hours or more to perform security software getting an update excellent um depending on internal involvement and location yeah okay there's very little I can do with this. A, a couple. CRS, surgery. I also know, actually, that um, there's a note here in the references. What is that? I can't hear. Oh, yeah. Okay, which is just um, which is just linking to the, the fact that it's uh, usually achieved by surgical removal, which is from an article from 1982 called The Surgical Debulking of Tumors by someone called A.W. Silberman. Which isn't our Silverman, because that is Peter Silverman, but uh, that's pretty cool. Also, obviously, mistakenly being called Silverman on numerous occasions, and I remember, actually, in terms of just him while I look at his name, or the name, I remember for years, because of the way that it's pronounced, Dr. Silverman, I, I had a feeling in my head it was Soberman, like Doberman, Soberman, and I used to say it like that, and my mum disagreed. She was like, no, it's, it's not what they're saying. And I was like, yes, it is. I've been a fan for at least six months. And I know exactly how they're saying it. Um, and then I think there was some sort of bet. And she said, listen to it then. And I was like, okay, put Terminator 2 on. And I was always looking for any excuse to put Terminator 2 on. I've had a theory. Can I do this? I, I really feel for my mum. Uh, she was like, yes, okay, fine, put it on. So I did. 
And in that particular case, she was right. And I realised from that point on, it was Silberman. They were just saying it with a really weird uh, kind of accent. So there we are. Uh, but not him, because that is A.W. Silberman, not Peter Silberman. And Peter Silberman is fictional. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing, I mean, the first actual thing I thought when I saw the word debulking is bodybuilding, because obviously you bulk up, um, not hulk up, close, whole other thing, Arnold nearly did the Hulk, um, I don't know how that would have gone over, and of course, instead, Lou Ferrigno uh, got the role, um, it's one of those things that I don't imagine they would have actually given it to Arnold, particularly then in the 70s, he was, he was a TV actor, but very thick, um, Austrian accent, um, similar like when they were considering him for Clark Kent, you know, the all-American boy, surely not, that wouldn't have worked, um, but yeah, bulking up. And in terms of debulking, that looking in the more recent years about moving away from like muscle building exercises and stuff, and he's moved away from that as he's got older and he's looking, you know, protecting his joints and, and doing more like cycling and cardio and machines instead of free weights. You could argue there has been purely in that context, some debulking, like he's moving away from the bulk he had at his height and at his prime of Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, and moving away to maintaining a, a certain physique, but not in as it was in, in, those, in those days. Cool. You thought you'd outsmart me, didn't you? Debulking. I got you. CRS, surgery, Silverman, vague bodybuilding related stuff excellent cool hopefully we get something next time that is a little uh, less medical that would be nice but that's the whole point of the random button you never know what you're going to get uh, now just before i go i would like to see if i can get some uh random thumbnails for this because my thumbnails i decide to let the computer choose what is the most appropriate image so, um, let's see if uh, one of those three get picked. You would already have known by this point what the thumbnail is, but I don't. It's a mystery. Um, awesome. Yes, don't forget to check out um, my other videos on my channel, please, including my recent one, which was my uh, part one of my Terminator retrospective. So, uh, something will be here next. Enjoy. Thank you very much. And um, see you soon.